Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be setting up an Apple iPad. So this is a 2017 model, this is 9.7 inch and it's also called a 5th generation iPad. Now I've already got an iPod so we're going to be using the same Apple ID from the iPod onto the iPad. So this video is going to be intended for beginners and it's going to show you the initial setup for when you get it to getting it up and running, you know, connecting up to Wi-Fi, etc. And then there's going to be loads of other guides on the internet about how to do different things on the iPad once you've got it up and running. Right, so let's unpack it. Right, so here it is here. So we have a charger here to just take off all of the covers from it. This is a UK one, so that's the reason it looks like this and we're just going to slide that in from the top down like that and just click it into place. Right now in here right, we've got a lightning USB cable here. So This is what you're going to need to charge up your iPad with. Now hopefully when you get it there will be a bit of charge to it. So you're just going to be plugging that in to this side here. Now it will only go in one way round. If you have a look you can see that there's a gap up the top so the gap marries up with the white bit there, like so. So don't force it, if it's not going in nicely, flip it round and then push it in again. And that side's the side that we're going to put into the iPad. And with this it's reversible, so it doesn't matter which way it goes in, the pins do the same on both sides. So to turn it on, if you have a look at the top, you will see that there's a little switch here. So you just need to hold that down for a couple of seconds. And you will be greeted with the Apple screen there. Right, now you need to pick your language. So I'm going to do English. Remember, it's obviously touch screen. And select your country or region. Before me, I'm going to go down to United Kingdom. Obviously, you will be picking your country. Right, if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set up this iPad manually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this manually. So now I need to choose my Wi-Fi network. Now, let me explain what that actually means. Okay, so you need to grab your router, or as you may know it in the rest of the world, router. In the UK, we call it a router. So what you need to do is have a look at the back of it. This is basically the thing that gives you the internet in your house. And you will see that your router will have an SSID. That is the name of the router. So you want to be connecting to your router and not your neighbours. It will also have a wireless key. It might be called a passphrase. It might be called a password. Either way, you're going to want to find out what that is on this one here it makes it nice and easy because you can bring this to the gadget that you're connecting up if not take a picture of it from your phone or scribble it down on a bit of paper so we're going to have to enter in these details here now this is just a test router this is not the one i'm using in real life so here i'm going to be connecting to this ssid because this is my router and it's going to ask me for my password so obviously i have to do this off camera Okay, so I've entered in my password now. Obviously, if you want to use capital letters, if any of it needs capital letters, then you just need to hit this little up arrow here and then it puts everything into uppercase. Press it again and it goes back to lowercase. So I've done it there, so I'm just going to hit join. And now it should connect up to that network. You can see that it's just whirring around in the corner there and now you've got a tick. So we have connected to the correct network. So now we're just going to go to next in the top right hand corner. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Okay, so it says Touch ID. Use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or Apple ID password for purchases. Continue. So I need to place my finger. So you need to decide what finger you want to use, whether that be your thumb or your finger. So with me now, I'm just going to use my thumb because realistically when I'm holding it, I'm going to be carrying it like this. So... Okay, so it says there, oops, you've clicked. Rest your finger on the home button without clicking it. So you don't need to click down, you just need to rest it on there. And then as it fills up the red lines, just lift off again. And what it will do is, because you're making tiny, minute adjustments, it means that when you come to do it, 
it won't have to be exactly in the same spot every single time. Right now it says adjust your grip. Keep going to capture the edges of your print. So now we're going to go to the uh, edges. So you can see now it's taken it from all different angles. Right now I need to create a passcode. Now as you can see at the moment it's one, two, three, four, five, six digits long, but you can change this if you go to passcode options, you can change it for example to a four digit one, and then it will go down to four digit. You also have other options here as well where you can just for example type in a name. So I'm gonna to go to four digit and I'm just gonna put in my code off camera. Now it's just gonna ask me to re-enter it again. So you do the same one again. Right, and it says apps and data, restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup, set up as a new iPad, move data from Android. So this is up to you what you wanna do. Now on this one, because I've already got an iPod or my family's already got an iPod, I'm just gonna be doing restore from iCloud backup. Now it's gonna ask me for my Apple ID and my password, which I already have. Obviously, if you're completely new to Apple, you're gonna be setting up as a new iPad and then you would be activating a new Apple ID because you want to be able to have the full access of features and you will need the Apple ID for that. Right, so again, I'm going to be doing this off camera. Now, when you're looking for the at sign, you've got to hit down in this bottom left hand corner here and you can see it will change and then you will have the at sign there. Right, when you're done with that, just hit next. Right, so it says here, a message with a verification code has been sent to your other devices. So I need to now go to my iPod and it just says on the iPod that an Apple ID has been used to sign into an iPad near where I live. And it's just asking me to allow it. I can't show you on camera because it's got all the details. And it's come up with a verification code. So it's come up with a six digit code that I then need to put in to the actual new iPad. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, and I was just saying updating iCloud settings. So now we need to go through all the terms and conditions. It says this may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Obviously, if your battery is low, then you need to plug in your charger to get it to charge up. If you're wondering how to do that, it's really simple. You see the charging ports down the bottom here. You get your lightning connector and you just plug it in and you hit here. It will go nice and firmly into place like so. Again, it doesn't matter which way you put it in. To take it out again, you just need to firmly pull downwards. Right now it's going to ask me to choose a backup. So with this one now, I've run out of iCloud storage a long time ago on this one here. So the last backup I can do is the 17th of January 2018. So obviously if there's been other photos and stuff that have happened since January, then they're not going to be included on that. But I'm just going to click on it. Then I'm just going to go to continue. Now it's just going to ask you different options, for example, pay. You can add your credit or debit store cards to Apple Pay to make secure purchases in shops, in apps and on the web. Or you can set it up later in settings. So I'm not going to uh, do this now, so I'm just going to go to set up later in settings. If, if I was to go to continue, this is where you would add your card onto here, but I'm just going to go to back. Just have to block that because it's got part of my details. Now set up later in settings, so I'm going to worry about that later. iPad analytics help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of uses data right well it's up to you whether you want to share the information and stuff with Apple or not I'm just gonna hit don't share but read that and decide for yourself right, okay so now it's gonna restore from the iCloud and it says time remaining so we'll just fast forward through all this see that it hasn't frozen up or anything because if you look up here you can see it's spinning around right so we'll come back to that when it's done Right, okay, and it says here, restore completed. Your iPad was restored successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow than you finished. So let's go to continue. Right now, it's just gonna give you some instructions so you can read through these in your own time. Access to dock from anywhere. So uh, just you can watch the video up top there to see what it's gonna do.
and there we have it you can see how easy it is to set up the iPad now these ones that are all in black and it says waiting these are the apps that are currently on the iPod and then they will get transferred over to here as and when bit by bit they will all download one by one Right, so if you have a look there, if you swipe up from the bottom, it will bring up this menu here. You can see you can adjust the brightness on this one here. So late at night, you can lower it down a bit if you want to save battery life. Battery life on this should last around about 10 hours. Obviously, you can control your volume from here as well. So it's all pretty self-explanatory when you look at the buttons here it will give you an idea for example aeroplane will mean aeroplane mode but I'm not going to tap that now because it will cut off the Wi-Fi Bluetooth symbols there screen mirroring for example if you want it to mirror onto your Apple TV then that is possible to do camera for example and then you will be able to take pictures with it if you want to get back to the home screen just hit the home button down here you will feel that it's an actual clickable button and then when you come to turn it off, all you have to do is hold down this power button for a few seconds. And you will see then it will ask you to swipe to power off. So just swipe over to the right hand side and then it is now powered off. And then to turn it back on again, you just need to hold down the power button for around two or three seconds. So one and two. And you see it will light back up and then we will have to put in our passcode now because we've restarted the iPad. Okay, so Touch ID is not going to work on this part now because uh, we restarted it. So I just need to put in the passcode. And there we go, straight back on again. And now if you just finish with it for a short time, you don't have to fully shut it down. You can just put it to sleep by just tapping the power button like that. And then to turn it back on again, you can hit the home button down here or you can just tap the power button again. And then you will see it will say press home to unlock. So I'm going to use my thumb. And you will see it's allowed me into it because my thumb is the one that I registered. If I was to turn it off and do it with my finger, then it wouldn't allow me back in. And it would ask me for my passcode, you see. But because I use my thumb, it will allow me in. There you go. Now, if you want to move apps around the place, for example, if you don't want down here, you can just press and hold it for an extended amount of time until they start wobbling around the place. And now you see I can move it onto a spare part on the screen. And let's say if I wanted to put the app store down here, I can then just move that down to here and you can see it will drop down to there. And then when you finish with it, just tap the home button and it will all go back to normal again. And this will work no matter what page you're on. Now let's say if there's an app that you don't want anymore, what you can do is you can just, again, hold it for a prolonged amount of time and they will all start wobbling like this and they will have little X's next to them. And then if you were just to tap the X, it will say if you want to delete it or not. And then you will just hit delete and then that app will be gone. I'm just gonna cancel that. To get it back to normal again, just tap the home button. So now if you're using the internet, you will go to this icon down here. And then, for example, if you want to zoom into something, if something's a bit small, you're going to basically go out with your finger. So your thumb and finger at the same time and just move out. And you can now see that it makes it big. And if you want to make it small, you just go in with those fingers like that. Now, if you hit the home button twice, well, if you hit it once, it will bring you back to here. But let's say now if you hit it twice, it will show you the other things you have open. Yeah. And then you can, for example, go to one of your other things. Like that. Now, if you want to get rid of some of them, you can just flick them away. Like that. If you want to use Siri, you're just going to hold down the home button for a couple of seconds. What time is it? It's 12.22. There you go. And you can just ask it whatever you want to ask it. Also, apps. That's the main thing with this, you can just download numerous apps. So what you do is you need to go to the App Store. So if you just have a look around the place, you will find that the App Store is this one here, which looks like a A on a blue background. And when you tap that then, you can then look through all the apps. Some are free and some you have to pay for. And now to adjust the volume on it, we have two little buttons on the right hand side. So you can see now, moving the volume up and moving the volume down and all the way to mute if you want to have it completely quiet. Now let's say if you want to view something in landscape, obviously it's 
portrait when you hold it like that and it will automatically flip over to landscape but let's say now if we want to keep it in landscape then what we will do is we will put it on its side and we're going to move up from the bottom so even though this is the side you're still going to move up from what is now the bottom and we're going to hit this little icon up here which is the lock and now it will stay in that position there so if you have a look now back here it doesn't matter if we go there so if you're watching something on YouTube or Netflix then we can keep it in landscape mode and it won't keep moving every time you move it now if you find that the signal is not very fast on it it might not be anything to do with necessarily that there's something wrong with the iPad or even there's something wrong with your internet connection it could just be that you're far away from your router so if you have a look here at the very top corner here you will see that there's like a a kind of upside down triangle and that is the Wi-Fi signal so if you find that you've only got one bar then it is going to be a lot slower when you're using the internet or Netflix YouTube etc than if you have a good reception so right now that's a full reception there but if that was to go completely it means you're just out of range of your router so basically just move it closer to your router or your router however you pronounce it in what country you come from and then it will get a lot quicker the nearer you are the more bars you have now if you have loads and loads and loads of apps on here and you're not sure where something is if you don't use it very often then what you can do is you can search for it very easily so all you have to do is just touch somewhere on the screen and just pull down a bit, little bit so let's go onto an empty part of the screen for example here and then just go down a bit just like that or you can go near the top and go down but not from the very top if you go from the very top down it's going to bring up like your notifications so just go anywhere on an empty bit of screen down a little bit and then you can type in what you want there so for example if you wanted to look up Netflix then you would start to go N for Netflix and then it will automatically bring up the things with N on there so it's just a nice quick way of searching for your apps now when it comes to the camera just tap the camera icon and then basically to zoom in on it you can use this little slider at the side here you can see we're going in or again you can use the pinch technique so watch this you see I'm going out with my fingers and now I'm zooming in and then if I was to go that way I'm zooming there so it's up to you whatever you feel more comfortable doing same effect if you want to do a video then you just tap video instead of photo and then you will see that icon will change there more like a red button on a video camera and then there's other effects that you can have on it as well but you can play around with that when you have time so let's say if you need to set a timer for whatever reason, you've got something in the oven and maybe the timer's broke on your oven. Again, just go up from the very bottom, like so, and bring up this page here. You just need to go to this icon that looks like a timer. Tap that, and you can see now you can change this for however long you want it. So for example, if you want it for 10 minutes there, you then just go to start, and then it's going to count down from 10 minutes, and then you can choose the sound it makes when it goes off like a kind of ringtone you can choose different sounds the ones that you like now an easy way to check your latest news stories is from the home screen just go to the left so we're swiping to the right so if you have a look there you will see then it will tell you the top stories now obviously it's not just swiping to the uh, to the left if you're on this page here and you swipe to the left it's going to bring you to the previous page but if you're on the pages over here you can just tap the home button which will bring you back to the first home page and then you see we can go there to the new stories so on the top right hand side you will see you have a battery symbol and it has the percentage next to it that basically means how much percentage is left on the battery so we've got 61 percent left which in normal use will be around about six hours so it's got a long battery life if we need to charge it up we just need to plug in the lightning connector into the port at the bottom which you've seen earlier on in the video and if you have a look there now we have a, a lightning strike next to it and it changes to green which means it's now charging that little symbol next to it there is just means the Bluetooth is turned on so with Bluetooth all that means is that sometimes you will need to connect things up for example your Fitbit or you might have a controller that you want to connect up to your iPad that uses Bluetooth so there you go that is just the very basics just to get you up and running with the Apple iPad obviously it does so much more but now you've got the basics you can now go into the settings and you can start exploring different things you can go into the App Store and you can start to learn all the different things you can do with your Apple product so hopefully you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now